Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I've tried doing this three times. The flaming planes like just time it right, don't they? But I think they've all took off now, so I think we're safe. Right, uh, a lady's dropped this off for me. It's a custom piece that I'm doing for her. Uh, when I was poorly after Christmas, I, I was still painting and I did this um, set of drawers and I'd picked up a rice paper that was of a hippopotamus, a female hippopotamus in a pink tutu and it was really pretty so I did these drawers all girly and I did like stripes up the sides and everything and she's brought me this today she just turned up and says uh, is there any chance you can do something with this I says yeah she says I want that hippo thing again it's for my daughter and I've picked this up for her and she wants the hippo again on it so I've been online I've ordered that hopefully that will be here tomorrow I had to go on to Hobbycraft because I'd put some like wooden floral bits on and I'm hoping they'll be here well they said two to three days so but they last off so that doesn't matter so and because I didn't film it that time I thought I'd better film it this time I'll get, I'll have a word with my daughter and see if she can slip a picture in as well of the uh, the drawers. But I'll do it at the end so then you've got to keep watching. <laughs> so I've just sanded it and given it a clean. Oh, I don't old furniture smell but it's from hers so you, you don't smell it yourself do you sort of thing. I think it was, did you say it was a granddad's or something or a dad's? so she wants to keep it in the family but obviously I, I shall clean it all the best as I can inside and everything I've sanded the drawers inside and that always helps a little bit but I just thought I'd quickly show it you and then inside here you just I've already took the hardware off it's like this light like, gearish orange so I should just paint it white I think Alright, so I'm going to bin it all, including inside there, because that's going to be painted, so, and then when we're ready, I'll come back. Right then, I've just given it all a coat of the bin, so I've done it inside and out, and hopefully that'll take off some of the smell. And I've drawn the drawers as well. Alright. So it's all going to have a... I shall give this... I might give it another coat actually. I'll sit... There's no colouring coming through at present I've got to admit. So we might be alright just with the one. I'm not seeing any orange or red or anything. So like I say, we might be alright. But it's easier to give it two coats of this than like an extra couple of coats of paint, isn't it? Because this dries dead quick, especially out here. I mean, this is about dry. I mean, I can rub my hand on it, but and it's not doing anything. So, right, yeah, I think I might give it another coat of this, and then we'll start painting it tomorrow. Because it's quite lit. All right, guys. See you later. Hi guys, right, it's had three coats, I've just put this drawer back in because we originally wanted the medium size and they hadn't got it so we've ordered the large of this item and it comes down onto the drawer which is, my client said is fine, so I've just been and ironed it because it was creased up and this is what's going on, she's a pretty little hippo so, like I say, I've cut all the excess off round it and I just did that with water and a paintbrush to tear it and then I can blend that back in. So we're going to start sticking it on and then cutting it after. So, just get my Mod Podge. Side 
wear it. It's it's very awkward this. I mean how do you film and right so we start this side I think and then when we get a bit on it helps if you've got a paper that stays where you put it. You can use whatever you want, I just use Mod Podge. And all I'm doing is just putting a bit on so that I can layer in place. Now this paper is different to the uh, redesign with Prima one. This is like a, a normal rice paper and this is by Aussie Decor Transfers. If any of you are interested. So that so I'll keep adding glue and then stick in a little bit more. I'm really not very well prepared again, am I? Right, I'm not quite sure what to do here. Well, she's got to follow, hasn't she? So... So now I need to cut her off because obviously the door opens. So if I can find a blade that's not been destroyed by people. Now I'm just going to go underneath as close as I can. Or do I want, or do I want to come to the edge? Or do I want to... I suppose it's there isn't it really? Take your time because you know where I'm like for cocking up. Uh, what do I do about that bit there? Um, at the bottom because obviously, um, let's just.
Right, so I'm going to have to chop down here, I think, and then re realign it, cut us. Obviously, you need to push them back over a little bit. Right, so I think that's all, apart from that bottom bit that I need to. So that's half on. Line it up underneath. Isn't she pretty? I think it's absolutely lovely. Well, like I say, I can't believe I didn't show you the first time I did it. Oh dear, that's what you don't do, isn't it? No mess. If you look, it because it's slightly sat back, it's folded it under, which I'm not impressed about at all. Want to try and fold it out and move it. I think the blade's blunt already. So we'll pop a bit of glue on there and let's do that bit first. Are you had enough mate? Mm. Right, I'll finish trimming this off and then I'll come back and show you what it's like when it's done. Mm. Right, so this is all are on. And I've trimmed around all the edge, isn't she pretty? I, th I thought when I did it last time, I thought, ah, nice for a girl's room. Hang on, let me just... I've made sure that we can 
get in. So, like I say, I just did it into the fold and then I did it there so that when the door shut, obviously it'll all meet up nicely. Same with the drawer. Right, the top is going to be this colour, which I've still got some left from last time, so we'll do that. And then she wants pink stripes all down the sides, which is this colour, which we've still got. The um, she, I put some floral bits on the top last time, and they were from Hobbycraft. So they've arrived. I'll take them out of the packet. I'll have to pause it because I've still not got a tripod. So I'll pause it and then I'll show you. Right, then these are the flowers. Like I say, these are from Hobbycraft. And I'm dead annoyed because they're all broke. I mean, you pay bloody £4.50 for postage. And they didn't even pour anything hard. So that they didn't get broken. So we've got that bit broken, we've got that bit broken, we've got that bit broken. You know, I mean, it's it's not on. So I'll be moaning to them later. I mean, luckily it doesn't affect me really, but, you know. So they're the flowers. And last time they went top and bottom. So how am I going to do that when we've got a door in the middle? The bottom's fine because that'll go on the draw I might have to chop it in off but I think we'll paint the top first anyway and get a coat of that on all right so I'll be back in a minute right then I've just taped off all around the top and I've just gone round it all a tiny bit with white so that it doesn't bleed through because we know how it likes to don't we even though it's not supposed to and this is the two colours. This I had custom mixed last time. So it matches that turquoisey kind of colour that's on the hippo. And then the stripes I did in this, which is the PBO acrylic paint, can you see? And that's in fuchsia. So they were the two colours that I used. So I'm just going to give that a second to dry. I'm going to have to paint it off camera because I've got no one told it. They've cleared off. Alright, so I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so it's just had one thin coat up to yet. And like I say, it, it matches lovely with this sort of colour here. So. And there's my little hippo. Oh yeah. Hey. Hey, a little hippo. How dare I. Alright, so I'm going to tape off the sides. I'm going to have to look at the picture of the last one I saw because I can't remember if it was thick stripes or thin stripes. And then we'll tape off. Alright. Right, I've just taped off. It was the thick stripe. I thought it was, but I thought I'd best check first. Uh, and I've gone over it with the white again to help stop the bleeding. So I'm just going to give that five minutes to dry. And then we'll pop on the pink. In the meantime, I'm going to have a look how I can put this. And paint them up. Alright. Right then, I got a bit carried away. I forgot how I was filming. So, I painted the two flowers and put those on. So she, one was at the bottom, and I've had to put that one there on the original drawers. It was at the top, but it's gone there instead. And I've blended the paper in, well, as much as I can blend a paper in anyway. And then I've done the flick effect all round like I did on the last one. And the sides have been painted the pink. The top's all finish with like the grey blue I'm still finishing off this one it's nearly done and she's putting her own hardware on it so I've not got to put any hardware on so it's about done I've just got to I think I've got a paint inside of it again I 
I think, yeah, the, the doors want another coat. So I'll, I'll give it another quick coat inside. And then it's about done. I shall seal it and everything. But we'll come back when it's all done anyway. Okay? Right then. She's all done. I'm not happy with the bottom. I did say to her, does she want some stripes or something putting on? But she didn't. I mean, that flower's just like in mid-air to me. But, you know. That's what she wants and that's what she gets. But isn't it pretty? I think it's gorgeous for a little girl's room. So, and there are the stripes. And it's all exactly the same as what I did last time. But like I say, she's bought so she replaced the handles that were put on. So, she says she'll go and get some more for this one. So, that saves me some pennies. I've given in there another coat. So all that's done. I think they're going to get baskets or something to put in there for her. So, and I've not done anything with the drawers except sanded them and waxed them so that they slide better. So, you'll have to let me know what you think. I'll speak with you in the comments box. If you're not subscribed, please think about doing so. Share the video. I've noticed there's not many people watching my videos again at present, so I'm not sure what what that's about. I've got over 3,000 subscribers, and I'm, and I'm getting less than 200 views on everything, so it can't keep going on like that, I'm afraid. But... This is it done anyway. So take care guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.